Hey everyone, welcome back. It is that time of the week again for a beautiful nail design. If you'd like to see what I did, then just continue watching. everyone and welcome back good to see each and every one of you today is nail of the week and I love this design I did a bright neon girly blingy with tulip design let me show you now it is more of a melon orange it is not showing it shows in some of the photos I took um, how beautiful it really is the color but yeah it's just not showing here i don't understand it but it is a beautiful melon orange definitely really neon and i love just the girliness of it with all the rhinestones and then the um the flowers on it and just the silver running through the black there it's hard to see but you'll see it better in the video but anyways i got those beautiful crystals there those hearts from my good friend jan i love them couldn't wait to use them so but anyways i hope you guys are enjoying these videos i hope you got a lot out of that video that i read that my brother wrote about keto and how the body works and i had a great time with my live sorry i got so emotional it's just that it was a very emotional day for me that letter really tore me up and just you know just knowing where where i was and where i am now i felt the same way and then of course monica loaded one that day and it just was an emotional day for me. And then when I got in the live, you guys were all so great. So, sorry, but I'm a very emotional and sweet person. So, I love you guys very much. Let's get started on this design. God bless, take care, and I will see all of you in my next video. Hi, everyone. So here's what I went with for this week's nail design. A beautiful hot neon orange with tulips and lots of bling. If you'd like to see how I did this one, then please keep watching. Hi everyone, welcome back. It is time for another beautiful nail design for the week. And as you see, I have got them solid color painted with a hot neon orange. Now I know on here it looks like it's pink, but I promise you, it's just the lighting. It is a beautiful orange with a blue tint to it. It's gorgeous. I actually did this color, a, uh, I think last year sometime in the summer, and I did it with my um, stamping plates. Now I'm doing something totally different. So, But I wanted to use the same color because it is so beautiful and bright, and I'm shooting for a real cute girly look. So let me show you what I'm using in today's design. So for starters, it is this one here the what is it nina ultra pro and the color is called pearly brights like i said it's so i wish you could see the true color of this because it is not it's almost looking pink but it's not it's orange it's a neon orange with a blue tint to it and then what i'm going to be doing is working with acrylic paints i'm going to have white because i'm going to use this neon red so it's real close to this color and i'm going to be making it a lot lighter because i'm putting on some tulips and so I'm gonna have the paint a lot lighter and I'll be adding in white to bring that down. And then I will need a little bit of black cause I'm going to be doing some stems, but I'm gonna add a little bit of gold I believe into it, or I'm gonna use just the black and then I'm gonna add this very thin lines using my um, nail brush, art brush, and go through the black with some of this just to give it some sparkle. But I may just use just the black, not sure yet. I will be working with Two brushes, I believe. This one's gonna be the longer liner. My number zero is going to be for the lines, for this, you know, the stems. And then this one, the shorter one, will be for the flowers. And that one is 10 over zero. And then I will be adding in some of these tiny 6SS uh, iridescent AB crystals. 
just around the design because I got these beautiful hearts from my good friend Jan. Look at these, aren't they gorgeous? I'm gonna add a couple of these on and they have that same iridescent stone. So I just think they're gorgeous and I'm gonna add them to one or two of the stones. Like I said, I want this one to be really, really girly and fun to match such, you know, such a cute outfit I have coming on Friday. So let me get started on some of the stems and I will return to show you. All right, so I'm back and I have got the stems and the leaves going. I'm going to leave these middle fingers open because I'm gonna just deck them out with crystals and rhinestones and that heart and everything. So I'm gonna leave those alone, but I've left this finger open to show you. There's the thumbs. So let me show you how I'm doing that. I'm using the long liner. Like I said, to start off with, this is the longer liner. I'm gonna dip into my paint. Now you don't wanna to get too much paint on your brush because you need a really light touch here and barely any paint about like that, okay? So I'm just gonna go up to this finger right here. Actually, I wanna get this to the tip more. Okay, so I'm gonna come up to the finger here, set down the brush and just very lightly start to sway and give it a quick pull at the end because you want that to kind of get thinner as it goes up. Then on this side, I'm gonna come right about here, same thing, start going up and a quick pull like that. Then we're just gonna put a couple little leaves in. So anywhere you want, I'm gonna do one here. You go to one side to the other and a quick little pull. And then on this side, let me get a little bit closer for you. Then on this side, I'm gonna turn my finger over and show it to you. Okay, I'm just gonna set my brush down to one side, then grab the other side and a little pull at the end like that. And we could fit one more in there. Let's do one more. So we'll just go right here to the side, to the other side, and a quick little pull like that. So there is what I've got so far, the stems and the leaves. Now I'm going to make my mixture and start working on the tulips. I will return. All right, now you see I've got the tulips on and you see how the colors just are mixed because I did, you know, I kind of swirled the color and that's what I'm working right in that area there. So the colors of the flowers you see kind of change from whites and the oranges like that. It's really beautiful. So, and then you see at the bottom of each flower, I gave it like a little cup the flower sits in. You see that black? It's like the this part right here. It's like it's sitting inside of, you know, the flowers inside of that. It's always important to do that because it makes the designs look so much better. So I left this finger open to show you. So I'm gonna get my brush here, make sure it's clean. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'll draw in here for you. This is the one of the easiest flowers to achieve. So I'm just gonna dip into that mixture and I'm just gonna come up to the, the top of the stem and I'm just gonna go like this to one side to the other and pull around like that. I mean, you're, it's really like just a glob that you're doing, see? But it's making it look like a tulip. So then now get a little bit more for the other flower, same thing, just kind of fanning it out as you go like that. And this one, because it's so close, it's gonna be a little smaller, but just kind of go like this and fan it out, making it look like a tulip. It's so easy to do. And then dip into your black. I'm gonna go ahead while it's still wet, but you pr pretty much wanna wait till it's dry. But I'm just gonna go like this and do kind of a V to give it that cup it sits in. You see what I'm saying? How the difference now of the two, how different that looks. So same thing, let's give it a little cup to sit inside of like that. Isn't that pretty? So just a quick step like that. And it just, I mean, you got your beautiful flowers here. Now this one here isn't showing up as much. So I'm gonna add a little bit of white into this one, actually. I'll just do it while I'm on. And that's how you fix things. Just go right into your lighter color. And what I'm gonna do is just add a little touch of white into it. And I'll show you how, see how that changed it now? Now you can see it. And all the rest are pretty good. Maybe I'll add a little bit into this one right here, giving it a little bit of a highlight just so you see it better. Because it's always important. And I must have bumped that cup it sat in because it looks like I did. So I'm just gonna go over and fix it real quick like that. And perfect. So all the rest of them look pretty good. This one needs a little bit more highlights. So I'm just gonna go through, you got to see the highlight part too. I'm gonna go through and just add a few more highlights to everything. And then I'm gonna go on to the next step. 
All right, I'm back and look at, isn't this pretty? Oh my God, especially that accent nail, I love it. So let me show you real quick how I'm doing this. I'm gonna put stones on here and stones on this one. This one's gonna have the big heart. So let's get into gluing this first down the heart. I'm gonna use my orange wood stick and that one's to that side. So we're gonna put this one to this side and kind of angle it. So you need a lot of glue. And then I can just pick this one up and set it down and then get it angled. So I want this one turned that way. And then I'm just gonna push it down, give it a push. Now I might get caught on some things with this one because they are pretty big and they're not sitting completely flat to the nail, but I still really love them. So like that. And then I'm going to dip back into the glue and I'm just gonna kinda do like a line going like this and back down. That's where the stones are gonna go, the little ones. And then we're gonna have a couple up in here. So let me get the tiny wood stick and start getting my little stones here. Let's get some out so it's a little easier to work. Okay, so now I'm just gonna start setting them down into the glue going at an angle like the other one. And what did I do? One, two, three, four, five, seven. I did seven, okay. So let's make sure we can get this done just like the other one. So I'll put another one here and then I can start going around this way. We don't want that one because now it'll fog having the glue on there. Okay, and then one more to the end. That's the seven. So that looks good. And then up to the top, we're going to put in three of them into there. Get one more little bit of glue there. Push these back and get one more in there, right there. All right, isn't that gorgeous? I ah, love it. And now just real quick, we're gonna just do a few dots around our design and put some more of these little stones. Get some out and we go one, two, three, and the last little bugger, four, right there. Now, isn't this design just so girly and cute? I really do love it. And I wish you could see the color in person. It's just looking pink on here and it's not, it's orange. It's hot neon orange. That is so weird. Hopefully the photos will show the true color. But I am going to top coat with my dry fast, dry fast sesh feet and then I will return to show you the end product. Alrighty, I am all done in another design I am very happy with. It turned out very girly and that's exactly what I was shooting for. Look at all that bling and that beautiful neon orange. Now, like I said, it's not showing orange here. It's showing more of a pink. Hopefully when you see the photos, you'll see it's more of an orange color, like a melon orange. It's just beautiful. And I love all the bling. Thank you, Jan, again for those beautiful blingy hearts. I love them. I hope you guys love this design and I hope you will try it out. Everybody take care and God bless.